Hello students, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. I'm your English teacher. Today we are going to read another very interesting story from your English course book. Let's check it out. The title of the story. Chapter number 12 or lesson number 12. B F G. She ponder, draw your favorite magical character and write its name. You can draw any magical character which you like, your favorite, and you have to write its name. Did you know, apart from being an author, Roald Dahl was also a fighter pilot, diplomat, and intelligence officer. Roald Dahl Day is celebrated on September 13th every year. Do you think it is right to judge someone on the basis of their appearance? Discuss. Roald Dahl's 1916 1990 was a British novelist, short story writer, screenwriter, and a poet. His famous books for children include Gems and the Giant Peas, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Matilda, the Witch's Fantastic Mr. Fox, and the BFG. The story is an excerpt from the BFG. Now let's read the story. Sophie couldn't sleep. A brilliant moonbeam was slanting through a gap in the curtains. It was shining right on to her pillow. The other children in the dormitory had been sleeved for hours. Sophie closed her eyes and lay quite still. She tried very hard to doze off. It was no good. The moonbeam was like a silver blade slicing through the room on to her face. The house was absolutely silent. No voices came out from downstairs. There were no footsteps on the floor above the either. The window behind the curtain was wide open, but nobody was walking on the pavement outside. No cars went by on the street. Not the tiniest sound could be heard anywhere. Sophie had never known such a silence. What do you think is going to happen next? Perhaps she told herself this was what they call the witching hour. The witching hour somebody had once whispered to her was a special moment in the middle of the night when every child and every grown-up was in a deep, deep sleep, and all the dark things came out from hiding and had the world to themselves. Moonbeam, ray of moonlight, dormitory, a large bedroom, dodge of false sleep, slicing, cutting through. You can see the picture. The girl in the picture is Sophie. You can see the dormitory, all those beds and the children sleeping with their face covered with blankets. The moonbeam was brighter than ever on Sophie's pillow. She decided to get out of bed and close the gift in the curtain. Why does she close the gift in the curtains? What kind of a girl do you think was Sophie? You got punished if you were caught out of bed after lights out. Even if you said you had to go to the lavatory, that was not accepted as an excuse, and they punish you just the same. But there was no one about now. Sophie was sure of that. 
She reached out for her glasses that lay on the chair beside her bed. They had steel rims and very thick lenses, and she could hardly see a thing without them. She put them on. Then she slipped out of bed and tiptoed over to the window. When she reached the gardens, Sophie hesitated. She longed to duck underneath them and lean out of the window to see what the world looked like now that the witching hour was at hand. She listened again. Everywhere it was deathly still. The longing to look out became so strong she couldn't resist it. Quickly she ducked under the curtains and leaned out of the window. In the silvery moonlight, the village street she knew was so well seemed completely different. The houses looked bent and crooked, like houses in a fairy tale. Everything was pale and ghostly and milky white. Across the road she could see Mrs. Ranch soft, where you bought muttons and wool, and bits of elastics. It didn't look real. There was something in her eye to travel further and further and further down the street. Gaffed, opening, lights out, bedtime in a school dormitory, duck, bend, resist, fight against. Why do you think she frost? What do you think will happen next? Suddenly she frost. There was something coming off the street on the opposite side. It was something black. Something tall and black. Something very tall, very black and very thin. The giant sees Sophie who runs to her bed and tries to hide. This doesn't work as the giant picks her up through the window before she could egg. She runs. He runs incredibly fast with her and vanishes in the darkness. See, you can see in the picture there's a tall, dark, and a thin figure outside the window in the night. And there, the girl Sophie is standing. And looking at that figure, now prepare. What would you have done if you were in Sophie's place that night when she saw the giant on the street discuss with the class? Practice comprehension, fill in the blanks with phrases. You have to do this after reading the textbook again. Carefully answer these questions with reference to the context. It was shining right on to her below. What was shining and on whose below? What was its effect? Did it have the same effect on the others? Suddenly she frost. There was something coming off the street on the opposite side. Who is she? Why did she freeze? Describe what Sophie saw. Answer these questions. Why couldn't Sophie sleep? Explain this line. Sophie had never known such a silence. What was the witching hour? What happened if the children go out of bed after lights out? Why did Sophie get out of bed? Describe the scene as Sophie looked out of the window. What do you think happened to Sophie in the end? Do you think Sophie was awake or was she dreaming? Perfect vocabulary, similes, synonyms. Complete the sentences using suitable similes. He quickly discovered that his new friend was as smart as With his long legs and neck, he appeared as tall as We can say as tall as tree 
or we can say as tall as building like that the first one let me do it for you he quickly discovered that his new friend was as smart as if you want the meaning to be negative you can say donkey or if you want a positive meaning you can say as smart as a jackal or a fox or any clever or smart animal you 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 can put it here you have to try the remaining exercise fill in the blanks with the correct synonyms of the highlighted words if the answer is false it is synonym meanings similar what that have similar meaning if the answer is false it is untrue to try this next we have the grammar you already know that the main work of prepositions is to create relationship between words it gives information about location directions space or time a preposition is followed by a noun it is never followed by a verb you have to keep this thing in mind a preposition is followed by a noun and it is never followed by a verb fill in the blanks with in on or at you have to try this read the sentences carefully choose the correct options there is a waste paper basket dash hard tax you have to choose from the three given to wood the most appropriate one in between under the first one you can choose under under hard tax You have to try the remaining. Performed. Writing. Writing from a different point of view. The story you have just read is written from the point of view of Sophie. Rewrite the story from the point of view of the giant whom Sophie saw that night near her window. This you can imagine and try. You could use these hints. Could not sleep because of a headache. So now you are the giant and telling the story. In the story we just read, Sophie was the one telling you the story. So the point of view was coming from Sophie. Now you have to write, rewrite the story or retell the story, retell the story from the point of view of the giant. Think of yourself as the giant who took Sophie and you have to tell the story from his point of view you can use the given hint could not sleep because of a headache when to take a walk on the street so someone peeping from a balcony like that listening part you can skip speaking Walk in pairs, one of you be the giant, the other Sophie. Now have an imaginary conversation where the characters talk about why they were awake that night. You can try this. You have to find a partner. Maybe your brother, maybe your sister at home. And try to create an imaginary conversation. This will be fun. Try this. Now students, let me summarize the story. Listen carefully. As the story unfolds, a young girl named Sophie is sound lying in bed in an orphanage dormitory. 
She can't sleep because of the moonlight entering the room through the gap in the curtains. She is scared to get up and close the gap as it is the witching hour. And nobody is supposed to get up from its bed. But she does get up, ducks under the curtains and leans out of the window. The village street she knows looks completely different in the night. Everything is pale and ghostly and milky white. Suddenly she sees a strange sight in the street. A giant is walking in the street carrying a suitcase which looks like a trumpet. He sees Sophie who runs to her bed and tries to hide. This doesn't work. Because the giant picks her up through the window. See, the moonlight was shining on Sophie's pillow, and Sophie was unable to sleep because of the moonlight. And all the other children were sleeping peacefully, and only Sophie was awake. She saw something very tall and very black and thin coming up the street, and that was the giant. Sophie could not sleep because of the moonlight shining through the window. It was very, very quiet because everyone sleep. Especially, it was. Considered a witching hour because of the silence. Witching hour was a special moment at midnight, when all the dark things came out of hiding and had the world to them. The children were punished if they got out of bed after lights out, and Sophie got out of the bed to close the gap in the curtain in order to block the. Moonlight. Everything was pale and ghostly. As Sophie looked out, the houses looked bent and crooked. The giant could easily reach in his hand and grab Sophie. Before she could hide, students, this story is not complete. The story is just an excerpt from the original, the BFG. Written by Roald Dahl. So, don't you want to know the remaining part of the stories? This person, this giant, is what we call the BFG. BFG is the name given by the girl to this giant, who just took Sophie. From her dormitory. So, what do you think the remaining part of the story look like? Don't you want to know? You see, what do you mean by BFG? You have to give an abbreviations. BFG. What do you think is going to happen next? Will Sophie be all right with the BFG, with the big giant? What do you think? Will she make friend with the BFG and live with him in some unknown island or some place where the people like the BFG? Lift. 
Do you think there are other giants like the BFG in the land of giants? You have to think about it. The story is revolves around this little girl, Sophie, and the BFG. And the remaining part of the story is their adventure. It's about their adventure together.